Adders? Uh, yeah, no, it's just, who do I have first, sorry? Uh, sorry, it's John. John Adderwees okay. from Western United. Uh, thanks for joining us, John. Uh, first of all, what were your thoughts on the match? Um, look, I thought that uh, Perth started well. They put us on the back foot right at the start for the first couple of minutes and then we slowly got into the game and started to build uh, possession and, and build sustained pressure. Um, and then they got, us, they, they got a goal from a, a cross that ended up floating in from the wind into the top corner. And then we took a while to get going again. But we got into so many good areas in the first half that um, you know we should have done better with the final ball. And um, we also had some good chances. And the second half, again, you know, I don't think I've seen Clisby score with his right foot before, but it was a, a very good finish. Um, but again, we felt that, you know, we had enough chances to at least get something out of the game. Um, you know, they were looking to catch us on the counter, which uh, they did a couple of times. But all in all, we uh, we had enough clear chances to, to get something. Yeah, normally when the luck's going your way, that's probably what would have happened. It would have bounced off uh, Liam and uh, would have gone in, but it bounced off Liam and went wide. You know, if it didn't hit him, it would have gone straight back to Noah Botic that had the first initial header. So, yeah, it wasn't to be. Um, you know, it's disappointing because we felt that you know, even though it's a tough trip, that you know, we uh, we did enough to get something from the game. What did you make of the late footage card to Leo? Um, I didn't really see it. To be honest, um, so it was hard to see. I don't, I don't know if they, they showed the replay, but if he did swing out, disappointed, because now he's going to be suspended, and um, and you know we've got uh, I think Josh Risden suspended as well next week. We've got quite a few players out with illness. Um, Leo was sick tonight, but he had to play because um, you know he, he felt that he could do enough to to you know give us what we needed, but. Yeah, at the moment, the you know we've got injuries, illness, and uh, it's but we, you know hopefully we will get them back next week. Do, do you have a COVID outbreak at the moment? Uh, yes, we do. Yeah. So, so how many players are? Uh, so I'm guessing it's Alessandro. Um, yeah. The Tomaki. Yeah. Like yeah, they're the three. So we're we're hoping that there's no more. Our physio also has got COVID, um, so he stayed back in Melbourne. We're hoping that there's not more. Um, that's you know. It's just the way it is at the moment. We just have to deal with the situation. Yeah, did, did that, because you spoke a bit about Alessandro yesterday. Did he actually fly over with the squad? No, he didn't. He didn't end up flying. No, I thought when I had the press conference, he was going to. Uh, he wasn't. He didn't test positive uh, the night before. But that morning after the press conference, he, he uh, tested positive, so he wasn't able to travel. Yeah. Yeah, it's frustrating, but it is what it is. We just have to uh, deal with the situation. You know, we got um, Tonga Dumbia back, which was a, a, a massive positive for us tonight. You saw that, um, you know, the way that he can play. He's, uh, he's a good player, um, gives us a lot um, with the ball, without the ball. Um, so, you know, eventually those players will come back. There's still a lot of football to be played. Look, the, the football we're playing is good. It's, you know, there's things, yes, we need to improve on. Um, but, you know, majority of the time we're, we're dominating, um, you know, and once we get everyone fully fit and back, then, you know, I'm sure that we'll win a lot of games. Of oh, the guys you missed tonight through illness, what do you think their chances are of coming back for the next week? Well, I hope they're going to be good. Um, not sure, because I don't know how long this COVID you know, uh, outbreak lasts for if it lasts, you know, as long as last time. And um, so I'm hoping they will be because we need them back. We, we're running out of the back line. We had to do a bit of a makeshift back line tonight. So let's hope they're back. And have their symptoms been minor for, I'm guessing, the second time around? Or is there a few players from? Yeah, I, I don't know how, to be honest, how minor or how strong they are. Um, they're not really bedridden, but they're enough that they, they don't feel well. Yeah, and, and what sort of things have you guys put in place to try to avoid any more players or stuff? Yeah, well, as soon as they st they feel, um, you know, sick and, uh, and you know, if it's just a little sniffle, then, you know, we're, we're okay with it. But if it's, they feel sick and there's something, they just stay home. We don't even allow them to come in. 
because that's how we can uh, and then if you know if they have got a sniffle which no one really has that comes in that they would have to wear a mask and stay outside and um, you know won't come into meetings and that sort of thing so yeah, we're trying to take you know as much precaution as we can and to have the next four games at Hayden Park now how much of a bonus is that I guess with everything else going on um, you know what it's the same whether we play at home or away we we Got the win against Wellington, which is a tough trip. We should have got something out of tonight, which is a tough trip. Um, you know, at a ground that's not easy to play at. And so, you know, in that sense, whether we play at home or away, we're, we're going to be strong. We know that. And we just want to start winning uh, more football games. And, you know, I think if we keep playing the way we're playing, we will. Yeah, perfect. Uh, thanks so much for taking the time out to chat. Thank you. Who didn't score enough goals? <laughs> nah, look, they, 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 look, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm being serious in a way because we got into so many good areas. It's just that final ball was, you know, letting us down at times. Um, and you know, I, I felt that we could have done better when we got into those areas because we're finding the space, we're finding good areas. Um, and and the first goal is is one of those goals that you know you just it's it sets you back a little bit again because it's a it's a sort of a freak goal it's not a normal goal and then you know then they score straight after half time and another pretty you know top goal um, you know then you, you're chasing and, uh, and we're still creating chances and then still having so they're, they're the things that you know we we like when we're dominating we'd like to be able to uh, if we can't win at least get something out of the game and. Um, you know, we're conceding at the moment. We can say whatever we like, uh, how they're scoring goals, but they're going in. So we need to make sure that we, you know, stop conceding, keep clean sheets. And once we do that, then, you know, because we know we'll score down the other end. There's no problem about that. Um, how's uh, Tomoki's going? Is he uh, injury or...? No, COVID. COVID. Yeah, yeah. He was... Uh, poor Tomoki's been through the wars. He's been first shoulder, shoulder surgery. And then he got uh, tonsillitis, and then he got gastro, and now COVID. So it's a pity because, you know, we, we started to get him back. We thought he would be ready to play tonight, um, but unfortunately he couldn't make it. Yep. No, thank you very much. Thanks, guys.